Hi TikTok, today I'm going to talk to you about an author of my player's characters from my D&D slash Final Fantasy XIV game. Her name is Mimiko Miko, she's a Mikote. She was abandoned at birth by her biological parents in the city of Limsaluminsa, where she was adopted by a couple of Lalafels, who treated her as, her, as their own daughter, since that they couldn't have any children of their own. They gave her a Lalafelin name, hence Mimiko Miko. She doesn't know much about her origins, except that she might be coming from the tribe of the Sun Keepers. She learned that she resembles the Mikoti from this tribe throughout her travels, and yeah. She always was a fiery, adventurous little girl. She got herself in a lot of trouble in the city of Limsaluminsa, but when she grew up and matured, she set off for the other cities of the Orzea and she basically helped a lot of adventurous guild throughout her formatting years. She tried a lot of uh, fighting styles, a lot of weapons, she even briefly dabbled in magic, but her best weapon and where her heart lies is with the spear. She became really proficient with the spear and throwing hatchets. She learned how to jump really high, really far, on moving uh, targets and she learned to pierce through their defenses with her spear. Eventually, after a few years of roaming through Eorzea, she came to Ishgard, the city that knew the um, Dragon Song War, the war against the dragons. She came to Ishgard after the war, but she helped the Adventurers Guild in Ishgard rebuild and face the new threats uh, that, were and that were the um, renegade dragons and other heretics. During her stay in Ishgard, she learned a lot about the mythical warriors called the Dragoons, the ones that were believed to jump on dragons, on dragons and bring them down. Well, now dragons weren't really the new threat and the enemy, but they learned how to draw more powers from their ancestral foes and use them for, an, uh, for good. For example, uh, they learned how to breathe fire, and she learned that as well, and she wants to become an Azure Dragon, which is the best title a dragon can have. That's the title that Estin and Wormblood has. He is one of the best uh, dragon warrior. She is very well-rounded, and she can jump and shit and bring them down through hatchets and she can bestow the power of breathing fire and any other elements to anybody 